Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the timeout command. And I recently showed this off in another video, which I will link in the description, where I used it to bisect a bug in PyTest. Uh, but today we're just going to be talking about the command in general, some common arguments that you might pass to it, and uh, some example usage. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so we're looking at timeout today. Uh, you can, of course, run man timeout and read the man page yourself, uh, but we're mostly just going to be talking about a few short options to it today. Uh, what timeout is, is it runs a command with a time limit and then pre prevents it from continually running. And it does this by signaling the process, usually with term, that's the default signal that it will send, uh, but you can configure that signal as well as the timeout, and you can make it escalate to a another signal afterwards. And so I'm going to show you that as well. Uh, but the most basic usage is just timeout a number, and then whatever command you're going to run. So let's say we ran sleep five, but we wanted to timeout after one second. See, so after a second, it terminated that process, and it did that did that via sig term. Uh, timeout gives you a special exit code telling you when it uh, terminates something. There are two um, exit, co exit codes that it will use for that. One is 124, the other is, uh, oh, I guess it still uses the killed by signal. So 124 is, uh, is um, oh, wait. If the command times out and preserve exit stat preserve status is not set, then the exit status is, is 124. Okay, cool. There's also another one for when it uses the escalation signal. So if like, it uses kill instead, you'll get a different value. Um, and we'll show that in a second. Okay, but yeah, this is just kind of the, the normal basic way that this works. Uh, note that it's only going to send the signal once, and by default, it only uses term. And so if we made a nefarious program, which ignored term, or signal, or time, signal dot signal, make a handler for this. I don't remember the arguments are, so we're just going to... I'm just going to ignore all of them. Uh, signal ignored. I believe it's signal number and uh, stack frame, but it doesn't matter for our example here. Uh, and then we're just going to do time.sleep. Let's do five. Uh, and so if I do timeout one, python three, t.py, uh, you'll see after a second, we ignored the signal and the process kept running. It didn't stop then. Uh, it is, of course, going to stop because we only slept for. Uh, you know, f five seconds here. So it, it did eventually end after five seconds. Uh, but you'll notice that timeout didn't really do its job here. We weren't, we weren't able to stop this process. And what we're going to introduce uh, additionally is an option to timeout, which makes it escalate the signal. And so by default, it uses term, uh, but we can also make it kill the process after another timeout afterwards. And so if we'll do uh, kill after equals two, and so this will say, after the first timeout has expired, give it another two seconds to finish. Otherwise, we will send the kill signal. And the kill signal is uncatchable, so the process will die. So if we run this now, you'll see after one second, we get the signal ignored. And after two more seconds, we get killed. And this is the exit code that you'll get for killed. Uh, this is the same as you would get for kill-9, I guess, as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's how you can escalate the signal. Uh, I'm telling it to kill after. You can also configure the first signal that it sends. Uh, by default, it is term, as we saw before. Uh, but if we changed it to, for instance, signal equals int, um, and int is the interrupt signal. It's the same as when you press Control C on the keyboard. Uh, so if we run this now, we're actually going to get keyboard interrupt out of here because we only caught sig term. We didn't catch keyboard interrupt, uh, and so you may use a different signal there. I find that it's best to combine both of these. I like to use timeout signal equals int kill after equals one, uh, and then whatever my timeout is. So say it's like I don't know, a three minute timeout for some command. This is this is usually what I use with timeout um, if I'm using it in a in a situation where I actually want some sort of graceful degradation. Otherwise, I'll just use signal equals kill and not really care about it because. <laughs> uh, we can just abruptly kill processes. Uh, but in this case, it would give the process 180 seconds to do its work. And then it will send sig int, and then it'll give the process one second until it sends sig kill. That's how I find timeout to be the most useful. And of course, you can tool this around a little bit. Like five might be slightly more polite to the process. But anyway, that's the timeout command. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.